Greetings from Port Carling, home of the biannual antique and classic boat show put on by the Muskoka Lakes Association. Up first is some Muskoka Sea Flea members' boats, Dan O'Mite and Miss Canada 9. Here is Mandy at the booth of the Muskoka Sea Flea exhibit, followed by the Antique Outboard Club Maple Leaf Chapters boat engines. This is an Evinrude four cylinder 60 horsepower engine. Up next, Miss Canada 3. Step Paul Gentleman's Racer that is exhilarating as any boat to drive. Following up is Flying Lady. It's a Manette Shields and it's a V12 power. Here's Rainbow One, also a BPM V12 power boat. Custom combing around the driving cockpit, custom hardware, beautiful raised cowling. Look at that engine. Just and look at the detail as well uh, at the sides of the boat as well as the engine hatch covering. This is an exceptional boat, wonderful boat in terms of performance, speed, versatility, seating capacity, and just a grand entrance. What a way to show up at a dock. This is Rainbow Nine. Rainbow 9 is a 28 foot gentleman's racer, 640 horsepower BPM wooden boat racer built in 1924. Here's Megan who drives Rainbow 9 regularly along the uh, lakes in Port Carling area. She's very comfortable behind the wheel of this boat. She's great at docking it as well as um, maneuvering it in the locks. And it's great to see a, a young lady uh, out there enjoying wooden boats. She's very knowledgeable and uh, she's a great ambassador for the sport. And I hope uh, more women will take up the activity of power boating and showing off the antique and classic boats in a manner that is fitting with these traditional beautiful boats. and this is a family out enjoying the lake just as we should be. Next up is a gentleman that uh, was trying to park his Riva at the show. Here's his family showing off uh, how much they enjoy being in the boat and this is another family shot in I believe a Duke Playmate. This is a fellow I know from Glen Owl website. He built this boat himself. I thought this was an interesting picture and here we are into the launches and here's a, a dog day of summers there's another dog black beauty shadow blue bee I love the uh, cockpit area, the combing behind the seats, fantastic. Fancy lady, love the boat, great example of the gentleman trees. Little Miss Canada 2. Gary Clark built this recently. Wonderful interpretation of a gentleman's racer. Next up is the Jeffrey. 21 foot Gravette. Fantastic boat. Longest gentleman's racer built by Gravette. Mike Windsor enjoying his boat, Miss Ellie.
Next up is the Madame. Wonderful uh, dash. This is a Butson boat. Gentleman's Racer coming up. Here it is coming in Port Carlin on the way to the boat show. It's very fortunate to have uh, an escort from uh, Tough Boats. Here's Palm Beach Days. Beautiful boat. Mark Mason creation. Look at the detail. Look at that dash. Look at the dials. Look at the engine. Look at the hardware when it comes to the uh, steering. Amazing. Up next is Silver King, a 1927 Gold Cup racer at just over 26 feet, plus the 10 inch external rudder. This step tall racer was the precursor to the Viking series. It has a very elegant V12 engine in it. The next boat up is a 1926 32 foot Purdy race boat. It's powered by a Chevy Big Block. One of the most impressive boats you'll see on Lake Muskoka. Following it is Rowdy. It was designed based on Rascal. This is Flying Ebony, a BPN V12 power boat. Flying with, uh, Ebony. Flush deck. Recently, 28 uh, feet long. Finished by Gary Clark. Has a uh, BPM. And uh, very impressive looking V12 and engines. One of the rainbow series of the wooden race boats up here in Port Carling for the Muskoka Lakes Association Boat Show. Up next is Pissed Off, the Carpenter Creation, flying, fast, uniquely styled boat fuel engine. A lot of fun. This is one of the last Corvette built gentleman's racers and uh, it's a, from the 60s. It's a very interesting boat. It's a, a flash type version. Whippet is a ditch burn boat. It's a triple cockpit, but it's still considered to be a gentleman's racer in my eyes. I love the uh, torpedo hull design, I like the external rudder, and I love the side exhaust pipes. Next up is B4, what has been said about this 850 horsepower Gale V8 supercharged engine, Mr. Wilson at the wheel, what a contribution he's done to the wooden boat world. Thanks Mr. Wilson. This is Mandy with the 1912 one foot launch. This is a 36 foot Manette launch. Lady Jane, ditch burn launch. Triple cockpit, ditch burn. Red Streamliner, Small Gentleman's Racer, and doesn't this say it all? Which racer would you want? Thanks for coming out to the biannual Muskoka Lakes Association Boat Show. Thank to Tough Marine for giving us a show for around the lake. And don't forget, PortCarlingBoats.com, Canada's foremost.